Okay, MathCats, let's look at some of these other directories, subdirectories. Here's Algebra 1 Unknown. So if you were dealing with equations and there was only an x, not an x and a y, just one unknown. And here's where you'd start. These things that are across the bottom are self-grading quizzes. I showed this in the foundational topics, but just in case you didn't see. If you click on this, there's going to be an opportunity for you to put in a name. And then you can either do an actual quiz or a practice quiz. The only difference between those two is whether you're going to involve the printer or not. If you have actual quiz, it will seek for the default printer and send the results of the quiz to the printer. Since I'm just doing this for you on the screen here, I'm going to put on practice and not waste the paper. <clears throat> when you begin, you're going to get the kind of problem that you wanted and every time it will be different so you can take this all day if you want more practice or if a teacher was using this every student in the class would have a different combination. So you put in the answer that you want so this looks like that would be negative 10 I believe I'm not sure uh, 11 and I'm going to just make up numbers in this for the sake of time here and then when you press ready to check, the thing comes out graded. There's a no, no check mark is placed if the answer is correct. The check marks say um, the ones you missed, and then it, there's a summation over here. If we had had this on actual quiz, this whole statement, the problems, the answer that was given, and the real answer would come out and the score would be graded. If a classroom teacher wanted to do this, they could in this way give a quiz to the whole class and all they'd have to do is record the grades. They wouldn't have to grade all those papers. So if you have, if you want your students to know this and feel like you don't have time to grade that many papers, this is a solution for basic skills uh, for um, any of these types of equations in one unknown. And of course the most complicated kind would be these with the, I'm going to put something in here for the name. And they're going to have X's in both members and how to make it a little harder. And I usually put the William Morris wallpapers on there because I like them and they're interesting. The, the rest of these are to teach equations and, and it would start, the, a lot of times I'll move up, like start with this, then move to this, then move to this. <coughs> And uh, we'll look at some of these individual programs later, but I wanted to just give you an overview of the algebra with one unknown menu.